Hi guys, today I'll be making a um, carbonara for you with mushrooms and bacon. Um, it's really quick, really simple, so I hope you guys enjoy it and um, yeah, like my videos and please subscribe to me. Um, let's get cooking. So hey guys, we're going to start off with the mushrooms first. I've put my pan on and I've put a bit of olive oil inside and it's on a low heat so it should be nice and hot now. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the onions. Um, I've chopped one small onion in here and I'll put it in the oil. Mix that in. And then what you're going to do is get your chopped garlic. Um, I've chopped one garlic. I was a bit lazy and I couldn't be bothered to mince it. But um, it makes no difference really. Onions cooked down for about two, three minutes. All right, the onions are cooking really nicely. So what we're going to do, we're going to add our mushrooms to this. Using chestnut mushrooms because that's all I have to hand. You can use whatever mushroom you like. And then we're just going to stir them until all the water drains out and cooks nicely and if you can see in the back um i've already cooked my um linguine i haven't fully drained it yet so there's quite a lot of water at the bottom just to keep everything going and um i like the little starchy pasta water i add a couple of teaspoons to the dish at the end so keep stirring so your onions don't stick or get burnt and then i'm just going to leave that for about two minutes covered so all the water drains out of your mushroom and then we'll be back right should be another two minutes now so we'll go check up on our mushrooms and they are completely sweating out now and all the water is draining out of them i wouldn't say they're quite done just yet i'll give them another five minutes just drawing out all of the water from the mushrooms and then we'll come back again so i'll give it another five minutes right so let's check our mushrooms and they look good pretty much all done I would say so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out of this and I'm going to put it into a bowl and then we will save this for later we're going to fry our bacon I'm just going to put a touch of oil onto the same pan that we use and then I am going to fry our pieces of bacon into it like so and then fry these to whatever you feel like you want to do it um, I like mine to be really crispy again keep the bowl because you'll transfer all of this into that bowl once it's done. So until your bacon is nice and crispy and then store them in the bowl once done. Right, our bacon is done, our mushrooms are done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the parmesan in our cream. You can use single cream or double cream. I've used double and I've only used 200 uh, milliliters because this is all I had in the fridge. So we'll have to do. If you wanna add it to be more saucy, then you just obviously add more cream. If you don't, then you don't need to. So what I'm gonna do is I've put three tablespoons of parmesan and I'm gonna put it inside here. I'm just going to mix it and then if you need you can add some salt um, I'm not going to put any salt because bacon's pretty salty anyway but I'm going to season it with some pepper and then I'm just going to mix it like so and then now we have all of our components for our carbonara so we have the cream we have the eggs which will go in literally in the last two minutes of serving we have our mushrooms and then we have our bacon and then obviously our linguine or whatever you choose to cook with is here. So now we're just going to piece all of this together and our spaghetti carbonara is done. So now we're all ready to put everything together. In my pan, um, it's still the same pan from the bacon and the mushroom. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to add all the pasta and all the remaining water that we have left like so. And we're just going to keep on mixing and turning. And then I'm going to add my cream and parmesan mix, as you would like to say. And then I'm just going to pour it all over like so. And then I'm just going to stir in everything. I like using these tweezers when working with spaghetti or linguine. I mean, they're just easier to mix everything in. And this makes your parmesan sauce. So now that's all heating up really, really nicely. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add our two egg yolks. Um, this is gonna be a really, really quick demonstration. So what I'm gonna do is put our two egg yolks in and then continuously mix it in, in the sauce. 
and then we're going to add our mushrooms and then our bacon for literally less than a minute and then your whole carbonara is ready to eat the only reason why it's really really quick because obviously um the egg will cook really really quickly and you don't want them to get to a state where they're kind of curdling inside so you want to be as quick as possible with egg mushrooms and the bacon and then you're done and then once it's all done i'll show you a finished plate so i'll put in my eggs the mushrooms um the bacon like so and then just mix away like so and try and get an even mix as well so you get a nice distribution of bacon mushrooms and everything else should have put more bacon in it it's not enough bacon <laughs> but that's not a problem it will still taste yummy and then here you have it guys i'm going to take this off the heat now because there's no need for it there we have it we have our mushroom and bacon carbonara and then to serve i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley on top just ever so slightly you can serve with more parmesan if you like it's completely up to you how cheesy you want this but here you go guys i hope you enjoyed it my bacon and linguine and mushroom carbonara so thank you for watching <laughs>